Happy Monday morning, everybody. It's a big day. It's Monday, January 8th. And that means all the CEOs in corporate America are coming back to work. It's a big day, big day. Now, just a reminder, <laughs> as I poke fun at them, they will be cleaning their desks off all week. <laughs> I'm just getting back to my desk. <laughs> They'll be ready to go Monday, but that will be Martin Luther King Day next week. So they they be they be getting there around the 16th or 17th. But corporate America is back to work. Uh, you're going to see a lot of announcements. You're going to see a lot of things coming out on uh, on X and Facebook and. We're seeing it right now, and that's what this old Coffee with Kenny's about. We see a lot of stuff going on out there. We see great video releases by Stuart Haas and Tony Stewart. Uh, Stuart Haas have changed their logo. Adam Stern is at it with big news. So, um, Coffee with Kenny. Herman, what's it all about today? Well... As I was looking at all these posts on this uh, January 8th, this Monday, it reminded me about a post I made a long time ago. I said, remember, corporate America won't be back to work till January 8th. And man, oh man, they are coming out every one every five minutes. Uh, so uh, a lot of news right now on uh, X, Facebook, Instagram. So that brings me to this. Um, I was the first one on social media, and boy, I t I took a I took a lot of grief. People made fun of me. Look at Kenny Wallace; he's doing all these videos. Man, Wallace fills my timeline up. <laughs> I've heard it all, and now. Everybody, everybody has joined me. I win. <laughs> so here's where I'm going with this. First of all, I must, I must say this. There was only one person that was on board with me from the beginning, and that was you, Jennifer Marshall. Her husband, Richard, they sponsor my dirt car, Priority Aviation. I started feeling a little guilty because everybody was on my ass. What's Wallace doing on that X? What's he doing on that? He's on there all the time. My dear brother, Rusty, I love him so much. And Schrader, here Schrader was the worst. Schrader's like, I'm imitating my, my, my dear, my brother Schrader. He's like, you, you and that, you and that social media. <laughs> now Schrader's on social media. <laughs> so, uh, but thank you. To Jennifer Marshall, I love you. Uh, never forget the first time I met you. It was at Vegas, and and I said, I, I said, Jennifer, I don't know if I'm. People are on to me, teasing me. She goes, Why? You're good at it. Does it bother anything you do? I said, No, I get everything done that I need to get done. I said, I just I do social media in my spare time. She said, That's right. I love it. Keep doing it. So anyway, quick story about how social media started for me. Listen to this story. You're not going to believe it. I'm going to make it as quick and concise as I can be. It's an incredible story. So Jay Robinson, who owned the uh, U.S. Border Patrol Xfinity card, Jay, uh, Jay says, Kenny, we're going to start in park when we go to Montreal, Canada, because the U.S. Border Patrol does not promote themselves in Canada. Because when you're in Canada... You're not looking for U.S. Border Patrol agents. I said, oh, I get it. He says, we're going to start in park. I went, oh, no. <laughs> I get it. People do what they got to do. I am never starting parking. And he goes, well, it'd take a, it'd take a I'm not going to tell you the figures. <laughs> I'm going to hide that. But it was a lot of money. For us to run the whole race, and it's going to be like three digits, like lots of money. I said, okay. So anyway, I was talking to some people and they say, Kenny Wallace, you should do a fan car. 
up in at Circuit Jacques Villeneuve, Montreal. I said, well, how am I gonna do that? They said, they said you should do it on Facebook. And I said, that's for children. Facebook's where all the kids are. Guy says, no, it's not. Facebook's big, it's real. I'm like, hmm, now this is way back. This is like, uh, oh gosh, 2009? 2009. God, I can't believe that was way back. So I call NASCAR. NASCAR says, Kenny Wallace, you're awesome. We approve it. So NASCAR approves it. Oh my God, because of all of you, because of the real fans that didn't care about embarrassing themselves back in the day with social media, it was incredibly successful. That was my finger holding the camera. I'm starting to shake again. I have no idea why. But anyway, so you fans really helped us. And uh, my eyeballs went, whoa, that's what Facebook did? So because we raised so much money for that fan car in Montreal, Canada, on Facebook, on Facebook, I didn't tell nobody. I just, I just kept going, boy, the joke's on them. Make fun of me all you want for being on social media. I'm not going to tell y'all. Social media, I'm going to say it right here, quote me. Social media saved my career. Every, everybody made fun of me, and I laughed my ass off at them. So I just watched that video today of, of Tony Stewart, uh, and, and, and now NASCAR's building a building so they can do videos with their drivers and help promote the drivers. NASCAR knows they have to get their drivers back out. Years ago, our sponsors did the commercials with the drivers. Well, the, the sponsors have quit quit making big, you know, uh, I guess you could say commercials. The sponsors aren't doing any commercials. Or they're, they're not doing enough. Nobody knows the driver's faces. So uh, now I see a lot of these uh, videos coming out on social media and I just smile and I'm thinking, I started that. I started that, but that's okay. That's okay, because I know I started that. <laughs> They're second. But uh, anyway, just wanted to say what I see out there with Coffee with Kenny this morning. I think it's really cool. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that story of how I got started with social media. It was that fan car in Montreal, Canada, and I realized how many people signed on. It was thousands and thousands of people. Let's put it this way. It, it kept my career going. So anyway, uh, all right, everybody. Snow's coming. Buy all the bread and milk. Kids off school.